Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to start by letting you predict what we are going to be going through inside of this video. Well done, what a prediction, that is correct. We are gonna be going through the most important levels that are gonna be coming into play this week inside of the cryptocurrency market. I guess you've been learning very well from myself to make a prediction like that. Uh, we're also gonna be covering um, the stock market because I wanna remind you all of the importance of the correlation with the ES, which is the E-mini futures of the S&P 500. So this stock market correlation back with cryptocurrency, even if you do not trade the stock market, you need to know what's occurring inside of that because of this correlation with cryptocurrency Bitcoin, okay? And we'll also maybe touch on altcoins because they've been extremely volatile, very nice to be trading altcoins over the past few weeks, really. So I'd like to uh, focus on that in this video. I will, of course, be keeping this one professional. You are here for the best analysis. You are here to, you know, really improve and excel this year. So I need to give you what you want. And that is, um, you know, some great analysis and insights into the market right now. So that's, I can promise you, I will give. And I'm going to start off with the video Picking up where I left off yesterday's video, which was kind of a funny one, right? I was out in public doing a Bitcoin analysis and uh, as people were walking by, you know, I had these people like, what's this guy doing? Yes, I was doing a Bitcoin analysis in public yesterday. Um, obviously, it was a busy day and I kind of wanted to give you the important update. And um, some things that we were looking at, well, one thing that was brought to my attention from the comment section was, Daniel, when you showed the tweet, when you showed your laptop screen, it was all mirrored. We couldn't read anything you said. Just so you could actually see, this was the tweet that I was all about. This was obviously a few days ago while we were still below 17,000, but I basically said, I'm bullish on Bitcoin in no short trades locally. That required, By the way, if you don't understand that, no short trades locally means over the over the past like month, I was in no local short trades. I still hold my shorts from 69,000, 52, 47. Still have those because they are swing trades local shorts on the more medium lower term time frame had all been closed was in a long still from my value area low and I was looking for higher above $17,000 and I, you know I had people saying I trust you I really hope that we can get above $17,000 and well shortly after that tweet and just like that we go up thank you Daniel for all your insights as a commenter said there and well we did make our way up then over the next day as well yesterday okay so obviously we had that important value area high yesterday which we were not quite tapping at the time and um, in the end we obviously did tap that and get through the level when we started to move up to the um, NPOC that we had here I'm going to explain this in a lot of detail so you can thoroughly understand and then of course I'll be moving on to what's happening right now and what I'm looking at next really for the rest of this week okay so we'll be looking at the next three days of price action and the current trades that we have going on in here okay so I'd just like to show you some insights so you can get into my brain of what I was thinking before this move happened. Okay, so I'm going to refer you to my Discord. Uh, this is obviously where I give my real-time updates. So obviously yesterday we were, you know, continuing to get the bounce from a uh, key value area low level. Reminding my team yesterday morning around 9 a.m., you know, still looking for higher at the moment. No reason to think that's not going to happen. OK, I remind my team once again, which I want to do in this video, is keep a close eye on the ES, because if that does start to break down, I really believe Bitcoin will follow and break down with it. That's something that you need to be reminding yourself of, the correlation with the stock market. OK, so yesterday, though, we were still tapping around that um, value area high, still below it at the time. And I'm telling my team, you know, in these no, no, no short trades locally, and I want to see higher. I want to see at least that value area high tapped, okay? That's, again, if I'm correct and we go higher to test it. You see here how I'm recognizing, you know, I could obviously be wrong. Maybe we don't go higher. Maybe we don't at least tap this value area high and we break down before the tap. Yeah, it's possible I'm wrong, but of course I wasn't in this one again, and we did in fact go higher. We did test that value area high. And as we were tapping it, I was saying to my team, you know, I want to see this move up to that NPOC zone, 17, 375, 17, 400 next on Bitcoin and higher. And this is what happened next. As Bitcoin was reaching around 17,400, the ES was hitting into a very big resistance level, which was the point of control which was given inside of a champions live stream, by the way. And we were hitting this point of control and actually got a initial rejection from it. So as you can see here, when I zoom in, okay, ES is hitting that level and starting to pull back and reject. As I mentioned earlier to my team, this correlation with the stock market, if the stock market starts to pull back, I think Bitcoin's going to pull back with it. And Bitcoin did start to pull back with it as the ES actually got the larger pullback as well here, thus giving Bitcoin this larger pullback. 
Okay, I'd like to just show you a few things in particular, just in terms of the TPO chart here, uh, just so you can also get this knowledge inside of your brain. So let me transfer that to you over the next two minutes and then we'll move on to what's happening next. To transfer this knowledge, I do need to play just a 30 second clip from that Champions live stream. So you can, that's less than that, 10 second clip, so you can understand what I was saying. Uh, 17,375, 17,400. Um, Just say 17,400 and just know that it's a zone then, right? Okay, so you heard what I was talking about there in terms of that TPO chart. Okay, and then the same theory here is inside of that same uh, Champions live stream. I was giving this point of control, as you can see at the time, 3969 and explaining that was our next big important resistance to the upside. 3969 point of control, very larger um, time frame point of control. So it was a very important level. So you can see at the time we had our next level above us, which was around, as you can see here, around that zone of 17,375. And that was on Bitcoin, 17,375. And on the stock market, it was 3969. Okay, as I showed you, uh, Bitcoin in the end did reject off of this. 17,375 and the stock market did reject off of that level of 3,969. So both of the levels that we were aware of were the high of both of those moves on Bitcoin and the ES stock market. So that was quite lovely to see, to be honest. Okay, let me just show you this, what it looked like then in terms of the chart here. So you can see when we look at this time point of control, 17,375, as I said to my team, it was a zone, 17,375 to 17,400. That was our zone of resistance there. Okay, and if you want to see how this looks like a little bit cleaner, you can see here very clean uh, as it comes into the low of that zone, 17,375. Okay, we'll move back over to Bitcoin, come down on a lower term time frame, and you can see how we come up, hit around that zone, just through it between 17,375 and 17,400, topping out in the end at 17,384, okay? So that's less than 0.1% to 17,400. So that was quite a nice zone to reject from, but really, in my opinion, the reason what we got this pullback from was not necessarily this level being absolutely strong, but also the fact that the confluence of the ES and the ES started to pull back from that level simultaneously led to the downside on Bitcoin. Once again, the correlation between the stock market and cryptocurrency Bitcoin is strong once again. I love to see that and it's very helpful for recognizing heads up and getting into these trades uh, before anybody else. Okay, so that's basically taught you through uh, what's happened there, exactly what's going on. And I hope that makes a lot of a lot of sense to you. Okay, so now to move on to what we're looking at next. So as I said, this 17,375 is a zone. We can adjust this to 17,400 above us. OK, and what this does, it now gives us this potential of a take the high into this and pull back again. And that would give us a, a, a local range forming. E.g. we can come up here and look for a swing failure pattern or failed auction above this high sort of thing. OK, so then if we got something like this, then we would have that failed auction and we could t continue to trade this local range. All I would say is this is a uh, trade by a, an alert only, e.g. we would need to see the reaction because if we do hit that level, get the alert and we just blast straight through, well, that's where we could be looking up to our higher levels such as that 17,700, 17,800 zone, which is where we got our next levels of resistance there. So locally, that's what I'll be looking at. In terms of downside, we've got, uh, well, the, the biggest level of support in my opinion, once again, I want to highlight this is a zone, uh, but this zone of support down here. OK, we'll be looking from around, I would say, more towards 16,920 uh, 16, ish, where we can look for like taking these lows to that daily. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to come down and maybe take some of this uh, low, low, lower liquidity of more of a move to taking out 16,900, you know, where we could look for that. Um, but for me, yeah, that would be in terms of the next immediate level above us and the next immediate level below us. Of course, we do have a little bit more support that we could start to pull like this, for example. But for me, the, the, the not a strong level. OK, what we have to recognize is things such as coming down into uh, single prints on a lower term time frame. 
okay and so you can see the the top of that selling cell is almost filled yeah pretty much so yeah in my opinion what i'd be looking for i wouldn't be too interested in like the cc for example i, I personally would be more interested in the daily if we start to break down here all i would pay great attention to because this isn't actually officially the single prints, right? What I'll be paying a lot of attention to, let's say, not necessarily more, but a lot of attention to is the stock market and the ES here. And see, as we go into New York Open, do we start to see a lot of strength in New York Open? Or actually, are we starting to see weakness in New York Open? So I think that's absolutely crucial today. Uh, well, I think it's crucial every day, to be honest with you. It's, it's, it's obviously the, the New York Open is very uh, important. But nevertheless, I think today is so important because of the fact, um, you know, we've just actually seen one of the biggest levels on the stock market at the moment, that point of control, higher term time frame point of control, having been hit and got forming that first rejection. This is an absolutely crucial time for the stock market. Thus, in my opinion, a very important time for Bitcoin too, as I understand that correlation. The correlation went during the FTX sort of scamming period. The correlation went, but now, as I was predicting, if you watched or oh, were in London for the London event, I made it very clear my opinion on the correlation that will be coming back and, and, and it has come back. So that's another nice prediction as well, right? Um, so yeah, today um, I've actually got a live stream during uh, the stock market open. So I'm going to go live for that because I recognize the true importance of it on the stocks on Bitcoin. So I'm going to be going live for the open today uh, as a little as a little bonus. And uh, there's another thing that I'd like to bring your attention, and that is for the people that are um, wondering, like, how's general chat now? <laughs> so general chat now is a very focused, professional environment. As you can see, people are coming in here with their analysis, giving, you know, like very nice updates. And uh, yeah, for me, this is... You know, sometimes we'll have a bit of fun in here, have a little little bit of a laugh, you know, the odd gif and, and meme here and there. But it's, it's very much turned into a professional environment throughout the whole, starting from the top, like I'd say starting from myself down to the, the, the community of members that are just coming in and learning. It's totally being switched around. And I know there was... Um, yeah, the reason I comment on this is because of the way that 2023 for me has started. And maybe I can give you some tips and advice on that, that I think that having this routine, I mean, here we are, not even 9am. I've already done all my analysis for the day. Like, oh, now I've, I've, I've done my analysis. I've done my updates in the Discord. I've got myself ready for the day and prepared and it's, it's not even hit 9am, you know. So I'm prepared for the day ahead. And this is just a really good routine, right? So I think what I can recommend is start to form good routines, start to form good habits, okay? To form a good habit is not easy per se. It takes a little bit of time to train your brain to do these things. If you can start to form these good habits, maybe even get rid of bad habits, you know, instead of, you know, spending, let's say, $20 on a on a, a meal and start to maybe save that, cook at home, you know, anyway, X, Y, and Z, if you spend an hour watching Netflix, well, spend an hour watching, you know, educational videos. It's these little things that really can actually boost your life and make it a lot greater in the long term. So it's like forming good habits, having good routines. And I think that's the, the best way that we can start to, um, you know, move into 2023. Along with that, obviously giving you the best <laughs> best analysis that you're going to see on the, online. And so for me, if you want to see more from myself, as I mentioned, I got a... Um, I got a stock market open live stream today starting at around 2 p.m., which I'll go live, obviously, for the U.S. Open. Um, if you want to see uh, the new contender series that we've got, these are new, totally reworked. If you want to see things such as the, the skill sharpener. This is where I want to be closed we... out because I expect follow through to come up here. You don't want to be guessing where the market will gap up to. Gaps do get filled. So, um, yeah, we got, obviously, the skill sharpeners new contenders series we got the new focus inside of the discord in terms of much more professional friendly uh helping community environment i really enjoyed that it's, it's changed a lot i know a lot of people for example that were members like a year ago and uh yeah i, I agree like our discord was was very toxic a year ago i totally agree uh i obviously have held, held my hands up and say it starts from the the top up right i was taking too much holidays going on too much you know taking a break sort of thing and with that inactivity you know that toxicness like seeped in more and more but obviously since then i've come back more focused than ever more determined and motivated than i've ever been i've truly mean that 2023 is a year for me where i just want to work and um you know improve and help more people 
and as well as that obviously we've cleaned the community greatly right so a lot of the trolls have just simply left or been banned uh, we've changed around the management you know we've got rid of and changed our, our, our coaches so you know I feel 2023 is just to being uh you know a year of where we can just now move forwards we've sorted out all the problems changed around the community changed around the structure you know just got a whole new professional helping vibe and that's something that I'm, i personally am very proud of to see that turnaround see the help see people improving and um yeah so yeah that's all i just wanted to say as i end the video Thank you, everybody, inside of the group. If you want to see more from me, I've got some live streams coming up. Another live stream tomorrow as well. You know, I'm doing live stream today, live stream tomorrow. We've got live streams every single day, right? So, um, yeah, if you want to see more from us, you know what to do. Head over to chartchampions.com. I'm going to say thank you ever so much, everybody, and I will catch you in the next video. And if you want my updates throughout the day, well, I give them over in Discord inside of my trading channel. So thank you. Have a good day. And let's keep available and updated on what's to be coming into next. Thank you ever so much. If you know what to do, if you liked the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, tick the notification bell so you don't miss another one. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Have a brilliant day and goodbye. Ending with the disclaimer, of course, so make sure you read and understand that. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And once again, goodbye.